Hi, I'm Alan Brito from Blender 3D Architect, and welcome to this tutorial about the Snap Base. Uh, yes, I know I already made a tutorial about the Snap Base a couple of days ago, but uh, even with that tutorial, a few colleagues, a few uh, fellow architects, they don't see that as a big deal for Blender, and I decided that I should do another video. And this time I will be making a small experiment comparing Blender with AutoCAD. Yeah, I know they are different softwares, but uh, with the snap base, you can do some things that were uh, almost not impossible, but really hard to do in Blender before Blender 4.0. So my plan today is to run a three uh, separate uh, drawings or do the same drawing in AutoCAD in Blender 3.6 and then in Blender 4.0. It will be a that simple drawing just to display, just to show to you how good it is to use the snap base in Blender 4.0. And shall we begin? The first thing that we'll be doing is switching to AutoCAD. Now for the first step in our little experiment, I'm using here AutoCAD 2024. Let's make a comparison on a really, really simple drawing, a simple operation that we'll be trying to do here and then move it to Blender to show you the differences. Now I can use just two rectangles, three rectangles to be more precise. And I will just move them to this location, I want to align this corner here to this corner and in AutoCAD, this is really, really simple. And with the snap turn it on, I'll be using the endpoint to do this operation. I can just start a move operation, select my drawing, grab the endpoint and placing it here. For a CAD software, this is something really, really basic. No big deal. And now we can move to Blender. And this is Blender 3.6. Let's try this, the exact same thing that we did in AutoCAD. I will place my drawing in the top, in the top view. We can create a few planes. Let me duplicate that. I'm trying this, uh, making it really fast, just to make sure you don't keep waiting for me to create the scene. And I'll be enabling my snap. Vertex, let's try the same thing. I want to align this corner here to this location. So press the G key and I want to try to grab that point. Yeah, it doesn't go. No matter what you do, you can't grab that location. Let's try with the other plane. Yeah, no luck. Let's try with a different mouse position. Nope. No matter what I do, I know it's kind of irritating uh, this, uh, of course, uh, let me be clear. There are other ways to do that. You can use the 3D cursor, you can move your origin point, but it will involve, uh, it will make use of lots of uh, key presses and hotkeys and snap. Let, let's move to Blender 4.0, just to make sure you understand how easy it will be to do this kind of operation with the snap base. And here I have Blender 4.0. Let's erase everything, do the exact same thing from the other scene and create a plane. Let's duplicate it two times and we'll be enabling the vertex. And now if I select my object, press the G key, now we have the snap base. If you press the B key, you can select your point here and move it there. Look how easy it is to do that with Blender 4.0. Let's do that again. Select the object, press the B key. Oh, sorry, the G key and then the B key. And you can move it there. Look, just like AutoCAD. I know it's uh, it's just one way to do this. Uh, let me clear. Let me be clear again. If you want to do this exact same operation in Blender 3.6, you can use the 3D cursor and of course there are add-ons that can help you to do this exact same thing in Blender 3.6, like the CAD transform add-on, add which by the way, it's a great add-on and it's free. 
and that's it i hope you liked the video it's just a simple really really simple example but i think it made crystal clear now for anyone in doubt how important it is to use the snap base in blender 4.0 and in case you want to keep up with more tutorials, videos, demonstrations, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. See you next time.